We are closing in on the first 100 days of Democrats in control of Michigan's state government. During that time, Governor Gretchen Whitmer already signed many of her priorities into law. News 10's Cody Butler sat down with the governor this afternoon. He joins us live in the newsroom. And from repealing the 1931 abortion ban to repealing the pension tax, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is calling the first 100 days of her second term a whirlwind. In those 100 days, she signed laws to accomplish many of her priorities she set at the beginning of the year. The governor told me she was proud to be able to sign the repeal of the 1931 abortion ban and a repeal of right to work, as well as expanding civil rights protections to members of the LGBTQ community. But most of those passed the legislature down party lines, despite the governor saying she would work with the Republicans. I continue to make a seat at the table for the Republican leaders. They're, they might be the minority leaders now, but they've always got a seat because they've got an important constituency that we share and we got to get things done. I do think that there have been some, uh, some unfortunate choices made by the administration and the leadership in the legislature, the new leadership in the legislature. Uh, to focus on the most partisan issues, the things that really divide Michiganians and uh, sort of neglecting the, the normal everyday work that most of our constituents are looking for every day. I'll have more from my conversation with Governor Whitmer and reaction from Republican leaders tonight on News 10 at 11. Reporting live in the newsroom, Cody Butler, News 10. The legislature will return from spring break next week. The House is expected to continue to work on gun reform proposals.